Matthew Kopko. Thank you, Council. My name is Matthew Kopko. I am not here today to speak about the Airbnb situation, but let's just start there quickly. So I've read the proposed ordinance and I see that the City Council and the uh, new Corporation Council have figured out how to alter the zoning cord, uh, code when they feel like it. Um, I seem to remember some complexity of altering the zoning code uh, being an impediment to putting serious protections in place after the secret deals Jim McGreevy tried to put in at Secret Heart. You guys seem more than capable of altering the zoning code when it comes to real estate related issues. Um, is there any reason why the zoning code modifications are appropriate here, but not to save the residents who have to live with reentry centers left and right and everywhere they look? Anybody? Okay. It's your time. First, your time. I'd like to talk today about the 95-story casino being planned in secret in Liberty State Park. It was put to the voters by referendum, and that did not come to pass. Yet special interests do not stop or respect democracy. This is a bipartisan tragedy. People lambast the Christie administration for putting Liberty State Park at risk, but you know who else is secretly backing this plan? Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop. Fulop is try trying to build a casino that he calls, quote, the highest grossing in North America, bigger than any Las Vegas casino, end quote. He boasts, quote, there's only one place that every major casino operator in the country has come to check out, and that's Jersey City, end quote, as if this is something to be proud of. Has anyone been down to Atlantic City recently? This is our plan to rejuvenate New Jersey's economy, to build Atlantic City 2.0 out here? Do people realize that the casinos there are going bankrupt and being sold for pennies on the dollar? Do people realize that the addiction to casino gambling revenues have caused property taxes in Atlantic City to nearly double in just a few short years? I ask this council, do you support a 95-story casino off the south end of Liberty State Park? Will you actually stand up to the mayor and let him know that you will do anything in your power to prevent it? Why don't we focus on quality jobs? I released a jobs plan to reboot New Jersey's economy, the only assembly candidate who has, by the way, and I say we need magnets, not casinos. Instead of a 95-story monstrosity that will be sold off the moment, it, the moment it's finished and run into the ground, we should do two things. One, we need a top-notch research facility right here focused on logistics, infrastructure, and robotics. I've proposed working with Princeton, NYU, and other leading institutions to build an engineering-focused satellite campus in the south end of Liberty State Park. We need something that will generate quality jobs for the future, not a band-aid casino project that will be an eyesore in just a few short years. Two, the rest of that industrial space should be a tech park where we encourage robotics and logistics-focused companies to set up shop in South Jersey City. Lord knows that we have enough abandoned warehouse space. We need technological challenges led by us, similar to the dark challenges that are quickly making self-driving cars a reality. I propose that our first challenge should be for $1 million to build a robot that can fill potholes on its own. And we should challenge every top university and engineering school in the country to build it right here in Hudson County, manufacturing in Hudson County. For jobs to come back, we need to lead the world in something other than tax abatements and politicians for hire. If you on the council call yourselves Democrats, and if you call yourselves progressives or conservationists, you would stand up to this mayor and tell him, no casino. And lastly, I want to speak about the violence in Jersey City. It seems as if there's a shooting every couple days out here, yet the mayor scolds those who speak up on the violence because, as he claims, other cities in New Jersey have it worse. Over the past few months, I have spoken with multiple law enforcement officials, including those in the leadership, and here are the facts. The full administration sends out rookies for a couple of months during the summers in a show of force. These rookies are being deployed randomly throughout the district, so there's coverage everywhere. They're not deployed where the crime is the worst, and they're not deployed as crime moves around the city. They're simply scattered throughout the district. This is what someone does when they want the people to feel safe, not what you do if you want to solve the problem of violence and crime. Put simply, Steve Fulop is sending the most ineffective police officers in the most ineffective way to maximize a public relations play. And this is not just my view. Police detectives have voiced the same concern to me. No wonder the violence isn't getting better. Steve Fulop is more interested in making Jersey City look safe than actually making it safe. So I ask this council to call for revisions to the rookie deployment program to include experienced officers and to require deployments to areas that show up on the crime heat map. And lastly, I am calling once more on the city council to pass an ordinance requiring the mayor once per month to tour himself on foot the most crime-ridden ward in the city to see the havoc his policies are creating in the inner city neighborhoods. Jersey City deserves someone who will fight for everyone, not just a propagandist who's in bed with casino developers. Thank you.